Inside a factory bay, an exposed rotating machine keeps turning, and one brief contact is all it takes for rotation to seize control. Never, ever approach exposed rotating equipment. Once contact occurs, rotation does not release. Rotational motion applies continuous tangential force. Once something is caught, friction locks it to the rotating surface and forces it to move with the machine. Rotation never pauses to correct mistakes. Guard rotating parts, maintain distance, and shut down before intervention. In a narrow residential trench, a tracked excavator swings its boom tight against a masonry wall, steel and soil packed into inches of clearance as the structure breaks sideways. In tight trenches, never ever sideload a standing wall with an excavator. Hydraulic force overwhelms masonry instantly. The bucket pushes sideways while the trench removes the soil that normally braces the base. The excavator boom acts as a powerful lever, turning small control inputs into massive lateral force at the bucket edge. Masonry handles compression well, but is weak in shear, so cracking begins quickly, and stored load releases suddenly into the excavation, transferring force back through the boom. Excavators dig down, not sideways. Use proper demolition methods, maintain standoff distance, and never replace engineered planning with raw hydraulic force, especially in confined trenches where physics leaves no margin. A loaded dump truck idles on a haul road. One miscalculated step from the roof sends a fall straight into the blind zone ahead of the tires. Access to a truck roof requires fall protection, stable footing, and enforced exclusion zones. Elevated vehicle surfaces sit directly above critical front tire blind areas with no recovery margin. The truck roof creates height without protection, so a loss of balance becomes a direct vertical drop into an area invisible from the cab. Once the truck moves, the front tires become a rolling capture point and vehicle is mass transfers instantly through the suspension, leaving no time or space for correction. Truck roofs are not work platforms. Falls from height feed directly into blind zones where visibility and reaction time disappear. Control access, control movement, and never rely on last second awareness around heavy vehicles. What appears stable for seconds turns unstable in an instant as a drilling rig's base gives way. Never, ever operate vertical drilling or piling equipment without verified ground bearing capacity and a stabilized base. Tall machines amplify ground failure instantly. The rig's weight is concentrated on a small base while the tall mast raises the center of gravity. When soil cannot support the load, the base shifts and creates a tipping moment. Gravity then pulls the mast sideways like a long lever, accelerating beyond any mechanical correction. Vertical machines demand horizontal stability. Test the ground, reinforce the base, and control exclusion zones because when soil support fails, height and weight turn balance into collapse within seconds. On a busy factory floor, a sealed blue drum sits quietly until internal pressure forces the lid free in an instant. Treat sealed drums as pressure vessels. Never, ever heat, seal, or pressurize them unless venting, pressure relief, and containment are fully verified. Stored pressure always releases at the weakest point. Heat or trapped gas raises internal pressure, pushing hard against the lid. The cap is held mainly by seal and clamping force, so when pressure exceeds that resistance, failure is instant, and expanding gas launches the cap along the path of least resistance. Pressure hides until it escapes. Treat sealed drums as energy systems, not containers. Vent before sealing, control temperature, and never assume a lid will hold what pressure is already trying to release. A worker leans into a horizontal steel tank from a ladder, and the moment weight is applied, the entire system begins to move. Applying weight to an unsecured cylindrical tank can instantly translate into motion, secure the vessel, and isolate movement before using ladders or elevated access. Force applied to a round, unsecured tank converts directly into movement as the tank shifts or rolls on its supports. The ladder relies on friction against the tank, and once the tank moves, that friction disappears. With its support moving, the ladder is pulled out of position by gravity before balance can be recovered. Cylindrical tanks do not stay still under load. Secure the vessel, isolate motion, and never place ladders against round surfaces that can shift under pressure. 
inside an industrial facility, a container holding molten material shifts and stored thermal energy rapidly enters the surrounding space. Never, ever disturb, tilt, or position yourself near a container holding molten material unless it is fully stabilized and shielded. Molten mass carries heat, momentum, and stored energy simultaneously. Molten material stores extreme thermal energy. When the container shifts, gravity drives the molten mass to move, and that movement releases heat immediately into the surrounding area. Even a small tilt can turn stored heat into fast, uncontrolled flow because molten material has no buffer once motion begins. Molten containers are not passive objects. They are moving energy systems. Stabilize the vessel, control movement, enforce exclusion zones, and assume any shift can turn heat into motion instantly. Inside a fabrication hall, a long steel beam begins moving along low friction supports, and one uncontrolled shift sends it sliding straight into the work zone. When handling long materials on low friction supports, never, ever stand in line with their path of travel. Control movement and keep exclusion zones clear. With little friction, applied force converts directly into motion. Once the beam starts sliding, mass and inertia keep it moving because nothing actively stops it. Even slow movement carries significant momentum, leaving almost no time or space to react. Long materials do not need height to be dangerous. Control rolling paths, block translation, establish clear exclusion zones, and never trust friction to stop steel once it starts moving. In the back of a busy kitchen, one loaded rack turns into a moving wall of weight in a single second. Fully loaded racks must only be moved when stable, clear to roll, and controlled from a safe position. Tall loads lose balance fast and commit once they tip. A tall rack acts like a vertical tower. When loaded high, its center of gravity rises and becomes easier to tip. The moment it leans and the center of gravity crosses the wheelbase, gravity takes over. It does not hesitate. Treat tall rolling racks like heavy equipment. Load low, move slow, keep control, and never fight a tip. Step back and let it go. One second of control prevents a fast, dangerous cascade. In a quiet warehouse aisle, a wall of stacked bags looks solid until a small shift lets gravity pull the entire pile apart. Never, ever rely on stacked bagged goods to remain stable without engineered restraint. Gravity always exploits the smallest imbalance. Bags compress and deform so the stack is not rigid. Pressure pushes down and outward. Friction varies between layers and a small disturbance pulling a bag, vibration, or impact can break balance. Once one section slips, the rest follows in a rapid cascade into the aisle. Stable storage is engineered, not assumed. Secure bagged loads with proper stacking methods, height limits, and physical containment before gravity decides for you. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments your insight could save a life. Take care.